Tong Tai. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Oh my goodness, have you ever, if you're a YouTuber, have you ever brought out your camera and you want to talk and you don't even know what to say? I just like, eh. <laughs> I don't know whether to say good afternoon or welcome back to my channel or hello everyone or whatever. <laughs> Sha, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akos. Welcome to the Christmas season. This is my first video in this month of December. Like, I mean, like my first video shooting, the first video I'm shooting this month of December. And I'm excited because Christmas is a time, I think it's just everything about December is very exciting. The weather, I love the weather, I love Hamatan, I love the fruits that come with December. You know, we have Odala, Odala especially. I should just like December. And then of course there's Christmas. So yeah, it's an exciting time of the year. It's a time of the year that you just squander all your life savings <laughs> and wait for next year. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. I am right here on my dining table. Let me show you what I'm doing. I am trying to get my work ready. I have a school presentation tomorrow and I am eating my dear old tiger nut and dates. I naturally I love eating tiger nut and dates, but because of pregnancy as well, I also like opt it because it has been my saving grace. It has just been saving my ass, literally. Somebody was chatting me on Instagram yesterday and asking me, are you going to do vlogmas? I am not. I cannot. I don't want to run mad. I will not. I just can't. <laughs> it's just I don't have the ability and the capability to do. In fact, so even upload videos two times a week is a problem. Vlogmas means um, for content creators, you have to upload every single day. At least I think from the first day of December to like the twenty fifth or so, I bet to the end of the month. But like you upload every day or as much as possible. I'm not going to do it. I'm gonna run mad. So thank you very much. But I'm going to watch other people's vlogmas because you know we want to see you get ready for Christmas. But then of course if activity comes, I'm going to also like vlog that and post that. But don't expect every day upload. It is impossible. Alright. Today is also my daughter's birthday. I want to round off my PowerPoint present i'm not really so good at powerpoint like you know arranging work there but i'm getting the hang of it because i wanted somebody to do it for me but i was like what happened to your hand and your head so i said let me sit down and do it myself today so yeah that's what i'm doing right now and i will leave shortly to go and pick my children from school i forgot to mention i am at home today in my house by this time of the day because i am on leave i'm on vacation like till next year Ugh. It's so wonderful. It's such a wonderful feeling to not go to work and still get paid. That being said, let me go back to my work and I'll see you shortly. Okay. Hey, what are you saying, Gida? Uh -huh. Hi, babies. This is the come and come and specially greet. People should wish this sweet girl of mine a happy birthday. Today is her birthday and she's she turned five. The big five. And I'm feeling so excited for you, Mama. Are you excited? Mama seven. You're not yet seven. You'll soon be seven. Oh, Happy birthday, Z, baby. Did you cut your cake? Did you eat your cake? Yeah. Very happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making my own. You're making your own video. I'm making my own. Where? My ah, with who? With nobody. With nobody. With what? What oh, are you making the video with? A phone? With us? With your imagination. Alright. Hey guys, today is my today is my daughter's fifth birthday and I feel kind of bad somehow. Yes, I did my best. What's this guy driving? Bikono. Eh? So we're saying I did my best to like make it special for her on this day. But if you see the plans I had for this happy birthday, I planned that we're going to go to the studio, we're going to do studio pictures, we're going to like have her hair done, everything. But we'll still do that. We'll still do that, Abby. Hmm? Nah. So I wasn't able to meet up with all those things. I was able to just buy a cake. I took the cake to school with party packs for her classmates and her friends. But I didn't see you. You didn't see me now. Come, come. Nobody, you didn't saw see, you. nobody saw me now. People were in the hall when I came. I sneaked in. 
I wanted to surprise this. I sneaked in, I gave it to her teacher, and I left. So that was all I could do. Daddy, look at it. But we're still going to look celebrate their birthday. I normally celebrate their mm, birthdays together because, like I mean, yeah, it's cost effective and everything. This is your second. No, this was the car after Okay, it looks like our own. But okay, let me wind down. I wound up because of the noise. Our car does not have AC. So sorry. <laughs> sorry if you hear any breeze, noise, car noise, all those things. The AC is bad. I had to wind down. <laughs> Zikara, you are blessed. Say amen. amen. You are blessed. You will grow into an awesome, beautiful, wonderful human. You will love God, you will love people, you will love your parents, you will be kind, you will be smart, you're really smart. You will be very successful, you will help people around you, you will enjoy your life to the fullest. Nothing bad will come to you. You will not have any form of sadness in your life. You will enjoy life to the fullest. You will have money, Omo. Baby, you will have money. And you will take me to, to where? To where? Anyway, I like it. What? What I pray for you today. You're a blessed child in Jesus' name. Amen. You want to turn six years? Next year, now by this time next year, you'll be six years. Today, you're just turning five. By this time next year, you're six years. Hmm? This is Candelis birthday. Is the next one now? You'll be seven. Come, come. Is it tomorrow? I can leave it tomorrow. Ah, it's not tomorrow now. I'm going to come to. Oh! Mm. It's when we get to Nairi, when we get to the village. Hmm? We celebrate your birthday. What is your birthday? I can't even believe I have somebody that is almost seven and somebody that is five years. I just can't believe that. Like, I thought I just got married. Like, what's happening? My time, my life is just sleeping. It's not sleeping anyway, because, God forbid. But, like, time is just. <laughs> Time is just running fast. I remember when I had Zikora. I can't even be five years ago. Oh, Chimo. But then I'm grateful, Sha. I'm grateful. This, this baby now. This baby is going to be called Obialonama because by then, this day will be like almost six years. Come will be almost eight years. We'll not be taking care of the baby. Like, I'm just happy, Sha. I'm happy with the age gap. And even though that age gap was not planned, but. <laughs> It's coming at a time that everything is just perfect. Let me not run too much. We just go home and I don't even know what I want. Can they keep my phone? No, but go on Kunja Wari. We should go up and go and have your back. Actually, story about what happened with me with my house help so I had this girl in fact I made up my mind I don't think I want like stay at home nannies or whatever anymore housekeepers I prefer those ones that come and go the last one I had a uh, wahala maybe I'm going to make a different video about my journey my journey with that particular girl but after she left I said no more so right now I have a come and go like someone that doesn't leave with us, she's a children's nanny, but she doesn't live with us. Hey, well, my slippers. Can you have my slippers? She does housekeeping as well. Then I have a second one that like is for strictly for housekeeping, Sha. Then 
their nanny is for them and then she does a little bit of housekeeping as well but they both don't live with us um that's just my mindset right now they don't live with us now i used to have two people who lived inside this house but i changed my mind about that until i get some things in place i was saying that i feel those people who don't live in the house those people, those people who come and go they have more job satisfaction i don't know if that's what i'm looking for but they take the job more seriously because they, they see it as a job they come they leave their houses and they come do their job and they leave at a particular time so they take the job more seriously but somehow so far from my own experience the people who live in somehow start feeling like you are taking away some part of their life you are you know making them not to experience life the way they want to i don't know at that age in their life they, they don't really take the job seriously they don't see this job as a serious something they want to just enjoy life so and i'm not ready to to you know keep up with all those things and i had to just say okay you know let me try people who don't live in yes there are advantages to people who live in but if your children are grown or if they're a little bit independent it's somehow better and again they will not be bothering you you know when they're in the house you just before you go from here to here somebody's in your face anyways that's my experience for now maybe tomorrow now i will change my mind in fact i know i'll change my mind like once i have my baby i'm definitely going to want somebody that lives in but probably for a short period of time but i don't think i'm going to have like a living living if i'm going to have a living now then it's going to be like an official staff madam and staff relationship they will have their own staff quarters or staff room or whatever and that's what it's going to be i'm still on this matter i've carried the walls in my kitchen because i'm cooking right there and i'm doing my work right here it's crazy <sighs> i'm tired come and kill myself please i had to carry my walk upstairs because the more i'm tired i have about 30 something pages to edit and it's not easy i thought it was going to be easy and i'm doing this in dying moment i actually have this thing tomorrow i'm doing a dying moment i'm doing a dying minute honestly like i don't know what i put myself into but I'm tired. Maybe I'll sleep, then wake up early and continue. But can we go to the first? The next day. Good afternoon hope you all are doing well just got back from school <sighs> i'm so grateful i'm so happy i'm so everything everything finally i'm done with that presentation everything went well and i'm going ahead to start my dba my D dba means um doctor of business administration so which is like um, a doctorate degree I'm going ahead to start that immediately so this presentation was like a final presentation for my MBA pro program and I'm starting the DBM and honestly I'm not going to say that that decision was easy it was not easy for me at all because I was really like this head I just need to go and relax I need to go to Dubai and just go and lie down I don't want to be going to school anymore but somehow I was just encouraged. Even my husband encouraged me. Like, but him being in school, him going back to medical school after so many years, really, really encouraged me. And I'm like, at whatever age you are and you decide to do something academic, you can always go back. 
you'll be surprised what your brain can still do <laughs> so yes i am officially saying this i'm going to be starting my doctorate degree so help me god so help me god i hope i don't drop out on the way i pray and i hope i know i won't share but i'm just praying because i know it won't be easy but yes this brings me to the end of this vlog at least with that one now by the side i can say i am officially on vacation i am officially ready for christmas because i was like ah, i still have this one thing this one thing in school to go and do but that is done and dusted and yeah the next thing now is a convocation all right thank you so much i'm sure that this vlog eh, i'm just in my mind as i was even doing this vlog i was like is this vlog going to be boring or what i hope it's not boring <laughs> i hope it doesn't bore anybody <laughs> anyways this is my video for you thank you so much for watching until next time i remain your girl a ghost bye